Hey guys, I'm Anna with Skinny Latina, and today I'm gonna teach you one of our most loved recipes, and that's probably because it's named after my business partner, Marcus. It is chicken limones. We're gonna start with a really, really hot pan, and I'm gonna add a little butter to it. You can use butter, you can use olive oil. I personally like the combination of butter and olive oil for several reasons. Butter will give you better color, but olive oil has a higher smoking point. The first thing I'm gonna do is gonna start with some chicken breast. If you prefer thighs, if you prefer uh, another part of the chicken, that's fine. If you like dark meat, I would go with something boneless, so they do sell uh, boneless chicken thighs. I also prefer to kind of butterfly it. I think it helps the flavors penetrate more. A lot of times I will start with a marinated chicken breast and I would use the Skinny Latina marinade, but it's not necessary, especially if you butterfly it. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I am going to put a little salt and pepper on it. Super important to just season everything as you go along. But keep in mind that the Skinny Latina marinade does have salt in it, and it's it's intended to be a kind of, just put it on anything and it tastes great. So it does have its own salt like that. So I am going to put my chicken in there, and you wanna hear that, even a little louder than that, you wanna get a sear. Searing is probably the most important part of any recipe because that's what locks in the juices. So a lot of times chicken like this or boneless, skinless, tends to be a little dry. If you sear it, you're gonna avoid that situation altogether. So while that's cooking, because it's called chicken limones, we have some lemon involved in this, but let me tell you, we're not going to use the lemon juice. We are going to use the lemon zest. And if you have any kind of cheese grater, it's very easy to get the zest out of the lemon. And basically, you wanna go around the lemon, you wanna avoid the white part, so just the yellow part, not the pith, because it gets bitter. And you wanna go probably like a tablespoon. And this is where all the oils are, this is where all the flavor is in lemon, and it gives that really great, bright, like fresh flavor. And then, with the rest of the lemon, we're gonna slice it for garnish later. But these and these are ready to turn out. I think we'll need another. A lot of times you have a tendency to want to flip it over and flip it over. Give it time to really sear before you flip it over because you lose that opportunity to really lock in those juices. So I'm gonna take out the thinner pieces first. These are ready to come out, so we're gonna put them on a separate plate. And this is where we're gonna start our sauce. First thing we're gonna do is add about a quarter cup of Skinny Latina. And we're gonna let it thicken. About a quarter cup of heavy cream to this. You can also use half and half, just give it a little more time to thicken. This is mustard. Do not use ballpark mustard, people. Ballpark mustard is for hot dogs. Lemon zest. And I'm gonna put my chicken right back in the pan to finish cooking. So add some of the sauce on top. And this is completely optional. You can add some capers to it. I think it complements it really, really well. Kind of like a nod to chicken piccata. Now, if you're trying to stay like low carb or keto, I love these, um, they're called zoodles or they're zucchini noodles. If I, Once I take this and I plate, 
plate it, I will just put this in my same pan and in like a minute, they just get enough color and they get soft enough and it's great to serve with, um, with this. And if not, you can, you know, do mashed potatoes, do egg noodles. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I plate this and you could do it with anything, but when I'm being judicious, but I still want something creamy and rich, I like to use these zucchini noodles because they have almost no carbs and it's good for you. And I just saute it with a touch of olive oil in a really hot pan. And I just kind of give them a quick stir. I don't take too long with them because I like them to kind of retain their kind of bite. I want it to be a little al dente. And I'm gonna put the hot chicken limone sauce on it and the chicken, so that's also going to cook with that heat. So I'm gonna stir that around. And you can add whatever you want to this, but it's just the actual dish has so much flavor on its own that it really, really doesn't need it. Put it on my plate here. And I have friends that make this chicken limonis and they double the sauce and then the next day they have it with pasta. So that's how good that sauce is. My chicken right up here. And it does make a good amount of sauce, but you could always double the recipe if you like things really saucy. All right, so now's the best part. It's time to taste. Perfect. Really good, really easy. The whole family's gonna love it, I promise. So now you guys know how to make chicken limonis, and if you love this recipe, there's a lot more like them on marcuslimonis.com or Marcus Limonis's Facebook. And remember guys, get in there and cook something.